The so-called greatest show on earth wrapped up in Buffalo this past weekend, but one crew member is calling on the city of Good Neighbors for some help. I'm Julia Soleri and I spoke with the man who lost something very important to him here in Western New York and is now offering $1,000 to whoever finds it. Welcome to the show. Robert Moore loves working as a vendor with the Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey. It's a ton of fun. I tell a, a story about the history of dragons and Barnum and Bailey. The final show was last Sunday at the Key Bank Center, and shortly after wrapping up, that's when things really turned into a circus for Moore. It was panic. Loadout was finished at the Key Bank Center probably 11. We were on the road by midnight. About an hour into our trip, we hit a bump. Our driver didn't notice that the doors opened at the rear of the coach and was spraying the highway with our luggage for about 20 minutes. Fortunately, tags were attached to most of the luggage and some of their bags were found. So we, we got a call from the county sheriff and they let us know like, hey, we've got some stuff here. And then we doubled back. We didn't trace our steps for another maybe three hours. 11 bags were tracked down, but Moore's is still missing. And he says it contains a sketchbook that holds a very special meaning to him. And being a part of the circus, I'm picking up writing and drafting sketches. It's some very personal things that I've recounted, right? My father, who had a stroke about 120 days ago, that experience, some of my best sketches, right, I executed in that book. So the 38-year-old took to YouTube to share his feelings and call for help. Uh, whoever finds it, I'm going to give them $1,000. So I, I want to make this negative a positive. If you're in West Seneca, keep an eye out for a black duffel bag with red, white, and blue designs. It was lost near the 90. Julia Soleri, 7 News.